So I am going to, while I am making funny jokes, take some gesso and I'm going to gesso my page. What does that mean? I'm going to prime my page. And whew, it is hotter than Hades in this room. It's hotter than Texas right now in this jacket. But, oh, what am I doing? I apologize. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll do, oops, sorry. There we go. That's better. I'm sure nobody wants to stare at me while I'm painting. It's not really the fun thing to do. So why am I prepping and why am I priming this? Because we're going to use acrylics today. Next week, we'll go back to watercolors. And I'm, I'm wearing a jacket because I'm wearing a tank top underneath. And I do not want you all to see me wearing a tank top. It's not a look. Um, do you have to gesso the page first? I'm doing mixed media tonight. So I do recommend, otherwise your acrylics are not gonna, um, take that darn jacket off. Linda, Linda, listen, Linda, I have a nasty tank top on that I probably smell sweaty. in. I've been running. I've been filling orders. Okay. So I do recommend gesso. I uh, love what you do. I'm just learning. Now, I'm just learning too. So I'm with you for the ride, okay? I'm with you for the ride. Uh, just a nice thin layer of gesso will do ya. Good. And then when I'm done with the gesso, uh, I take, I don't have baby wipes in here. I've been painting like crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> We only have two baby wipes. Are questions okay? Uh, only from people from El Cajon, Ava. So you are just right on the border. You're fine. Yes, questions are fine. Just so you know, I do try to answer as many questions as I can, but I am painting. I am trying to come up with something reasonably um, fun and entertaining. And also, uh, this is just a demo. So if you're a member of your artful journey, uh, which is my membership group, a deep dive in there. So questions, I'll do the best I can. If I don't answer it, you can send a homing pigeon right up the 67 and I'll do my best. Okay. Um, I'm going to take some white acrylic paint because that, um, excuse me, am I in your way? I'm going to take some white acrylic paint um, on my palette. This is totally dry. Don't worry. That's totally dry. And I am going to water that paint down. This is really yellowed, and I really want this yellow or white. So I'm just going to do a whitewash. What does a whitewash mean? I'm going to add some. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to add some water to it and just do a whitewash. What's the difference between using a paint dryer and using a hair dryer? Hair dryer is not as heat concentrated, and a heat gun is more intense heat. That's the only difference. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this white because I don't I don't want to use this all yellowed up. And I don't need all the dictionary coming through. Okay. Uh, okay, Robin, please recommend tape. I use painter's tape and it all makes pulls my paper away. Okay, uh, we'll talk about that at the very end. This particular tape, I do have, I think I just got paint on my, uh, is on my resources page. Supposedly it's gentle or delicate. And I don't think it is because, uh, but I will show you at the very end how I'm going to get my tape off of this very delicate paper that I'm using. Okay. I have a fan going so that I look like Beyonce, but the problem is I'm going to try and get petals to a flower that are all reasonably the same size. So that's why I pulled out a bunch of pieces of paper. You can use, um, I'm just using book text. Uh, I got this out of the dictionary that I got in El Cajon, as a matter of fact. And then I'm just whitewashing it. Whitewashing means I'm turning it white. Okay. I love old book pages. So do I. Oops. Come back here. Don't leave. But you can use a hairdryer. I, I love a heat gun. But be careful, though. I was teaching a class one time, and uh, I was drying a campus and I burned a hole right through the middle of it. Um, that made for a fun class, but that ended up being the center of the flower. We didn't throw that campus away. 
All right, I don't think I need 700 of these pages. I think I only need two. So if anybody needs some dictionary paper, I have about four to six inches of dictionary. Come on. All right, obviously I have to turn off my fan for a minute if I plan on getting this remotely. Just, oh, that's my air conditioner. Well, dump dump dump. That is my air conditioner. Really? You're way up there and you're blowing my... I didn't forget about our background, by the way. I just wanted to whitewash this so that I could cut out like all the same size petals. And I'm going to... I have a trick. Yeah. And if you need any links, I will go in. Anne is giving you some links on the background. I need some dictionary pages if you want to include them in my order tonight. Linda, uh, you're in that pile, and you are sealed, taped, signed, sealed, deliver, I'm yours. If I start singing, it means I'm having a good time. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, we only need a handful. All right, let's pull that aside to dry. I'm still using the same paintbrush that had the gesso on it. And then, oh, my journal. Come back here. Let's not start the first page upside down. Let's look. There you go. I don't want. Not feeling well, and you're just what I needed tonight to cheer me up. You know what? Sue, it sounds like, oh, she hasn't. Linda? Linda? Send your order, girlfriend. You're going to get some yellow dictionary paper. <laughs> I made a show. That's funny. I like that. Uh, Sue needs a hug. Okay, I'm going to try and not get paint all over my face. Now, what are we feeling? I know what I'm feeling. Like, primary yellow. Primary magenta. Let's use some easy colors. And like cobalt. Let's just do like cobalt teal hue. Okay. I'm I'm literally thinking about, you know, your printer. Primary yellow, cyan, magenta, black. So I'm making this easy peasy light and squeezy. All right. Nothing crazy. We're keeping it mellow yellow. And I, I do, I have that white sitting there. So primary yellow. hope I have some more of this because otherwise I got to go outside. Eva, are you getting any of those fires that uh, we got yesterday? That's fun. I could hear the tankers going over my house. Um And by the way, I'm going to promise myself not to fill orders tonight. Uh oh, no, do not, do not get paint on these clothes. They're actually rather new. Now, you'll see me dip into water because I enjoy it, especially water that has a bug floating in it. And here we go. We're going to, oh, I used to live down there. All right. I used to live down there. We're practically neighbors. Used to live off second. Ooh. All right. So that's primary yellow. And then I'm going to go, oops, I'm going to go into the magenta. How many of you are just scared to mix colors off up? Now, if I wouldn't have used gesso, this paint would just be sticking on the page and not going anywhere. All right. So I want it to not just stick to the page. I want it to flow. So that's where that gesso. And also gesso is, gives it that tooth that it will stick to the page. It's just fun to say the word gesso. Hello, how was your day? It was gesso. Would you like some tea and gesso? Yes, I would. How did you know? I'm in the mood for tea and gesso. You're having a bad day? 
gesso over that day. Pull that primer out and just gesso right over it. Uh, Alice said, I like it already. We're done. Do you have a coupon code for the journal? I have one in my cart and there's a place for a coupon. No, co uh, pa no coupon, Pat, no. Uh, Pat, I don't do coupons. I do uh, sporadic sales once a year, but that's it. I don't really do that. I'm just a mom business. Uh, but thank you for asking. I'm going to grab some white. Okay. I'm going to grab some white. Hi, Leonore. I'm going to put my hands in my... My hand in my pocket to show I'm relaxed. And then I'm going to go around and just, you know what? Maybe I'll do a swatch this way. You're welcome, Pat. I'll do a swatch this way and I'll do a swatch this way. Don't worry. You start, you're not going to really make mud with this. You know why you're not going to make mud? Because I gave you three colors. You're not going to make mud. And if you start to make mud, we'll unmud it. All right. I decided all of my brush jokes would go this way. Now I'm debating what, oh, I didn't want all that yellow. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna push this forward, push this back, push this forward, push this back. Okay, what am I saying? We'll add more color. If I decide I want more teal, then throw some teal in it. Okay, the good news is that teal will mix with that magenta and make a lovely, brilliant, like violet color. All right. Uh, good morning, Tanya in uh, Australia. I think that was Australia. Okay. So just keep going. I need more white. It becomes hard to see where the tape starts and where the um but i'm going to go for a very soft background of some nature and then i'll grab a little bit of that magenta pull that back in so you see how i'm getting darker and then lighter and then darker and then lighter so that's all i'm doing i think some people are afraid to mix up those colors yeah, not me. We're just gonna keep the colors flowing and the yellow and the teal make green. How many coats of watercolor ground do you need to go on a canvas? Cassie, I think you need to read the manufacturer's instructions. If you're a member of your artful journey, I think we talked about these. It's like um, one to two, but you really want to... Um, I don't want to tell you anything other than the manufacturer's instructions. So it will list them on there. Yeah. You know, some people, I usually do one to two and I find that works. The blending is interesting. It makes me think I need glasses. <laughs> and I'm not using watercolor ground. So I do not want anybody to get mixed up here and I'll try to stay on topic because I, I don't want anybody to think that's what I used because I didn't use that. All right. I know. I'm just making it seem. Always follow manufacturer's instructions. What are you thinking? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? takes me back. Oh, I think I got bit by a bug where my bra strap is. Oh, I did. We have flies this year, which is, I know, I shouldn't complain. I feel like the world has flies in it. All right. I'm just using my paint now at this point. That's all I'm doing. Whatever's left, I'm just kind of dusting over the top because I find that fun. Making some, all right. If you want it more white. Oh, prepping for the sunflower while watching. Oh, I, I am unaware. Is there something I'm not aware of? Okay. Because I'm not making a sunflower. I'm going to make something else. 
Okay, why do I keep adding more paint to this? Could somebody stop me, please? I, I don't know why. I just keep on going. Because I like it. All right. I think I'm relatively happy with this. Then why do I keep having to do it? I love that it mixes and it makes these beautiful colors in there. So I can even hit that yellow again. Okay. And then I'm going to, oops. I hit the magenta again by accident, but that's all right. All right. I'm good. Okay. Now I am going to add, I don't want to make this background as complete as possible. I'm going to take a fan brush. That is not a fan brush. Uh, here we go. I'm going to mix some dirty water because that's all I have up here is dirty water. And then I'm going to water that down a little bit. Just water it down. Okay. And then I'm going to throw some splatters in there. Just, just random. Okay. Rinse that off. Do I have any magenta left? No, I used it all. Who's painting with me tonight? Who's got a paintbrush in their hand? I mix the water because the water just, all right, oh, that was backfiring. I can add more later. I'm not familiar with acrylics. Does the paint stay wet a long time on that palette? Is that what that is? This is a piece of foam. Uh, it's a foam tray from... Um, the Dollar Tree, and it does dry, and I just let it dry. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, and then I'm going to dry, and then I'm going to take a sip of my wine. I poured a little glass of wine with my dinner, and I never ate it or drank it. Yeah, good for you to, yeah. I promise this will somewhat come together. I hope. Just run it around the back. Okay, did I miss a question? Um, I don't think I did. Maybe not. Now I was rethinking what I was going to do and I got it. I wanna make the petal, I'm gonna make a flower on this. I know most of you might be painting with me because I notice you are not talking so much. Not that I, I mind talking. I love the talking. Okay, two pieces of paper. Fold two pieces of paper. Fold two pieces of paper. And then I'm going to make an origami swan out of this just to throw you off. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm going to grab a pair of magic scissors. So if I folded this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'll get eight petals, right? And how big do I want this to be? <sighs> she says, okay, just in case, would I get, hold on, if I did this, and I went like this. Okay, I think I still got enough. Are you ready, Freddie? Hold on. So you get the same size petal. You just cut one time. Ooh. Wouldn't it be funny if I make like a snow angel or something? I'm not. I'm... Okay. And I'm going to go to the end of that. And we're going to hypothetically have a petal. Oh, this is dry. Mm. It's really 
hard to see where the, and I was debating. I was thinking it. <laughs> really? I have to turn off my air conditioner. <laughs> I need to jump up there and change my air conditioner because it's just going to keep pushing this out. Mother trucker. Okay. Just. <laughs> it's like a, this is just me. Just me. Okay. Just don't move. I just wanted to see what these were going to look like laid out and proportionate how big these were. It's so funny. Because I can make them smaller. I can just stick them back in a pile. Okay. <laughs> I put the air conditioner on because I was sweating to death and now I've got a problem. I'm going to offset this. I gotta go right in the middle. <laughs> I'm running out of paperweights. Or I'm just gonna put it off to the end. People ask, what do I prep before we begin? Obviously, nothing. Otherwise, I bought I would have brought 10 paperweights in here. You get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm laying this out. Okay. But I need to draw a circle first. Oops, not hold on. Some of these are not completely painted. Oh, because I went to the end of the paper. That's not a biggie. I can fix that. All right. You get the idea? Oh, God. I got like a bug bite on my... I don't know what else to do here. I'll just start gluing them down, and we'll just chance it. I'll draw a circle. I'll lay them down, and that's all I'll do. I'll put it around the circle and we don't care. All right, I need a circle. Yeah, this is just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna glue it. Uh, we're not even gonna lay it down. We're gonna hope for the best and I need a circle and I'm gonna put the circle right about there. I'm gonna offset this guy a little bit, okay? No, your circle doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just drawing it in with a, I'll do it with a pencil first. Hopefully I'll be able to see this. Just a... I don't even know if I'm on the paper. Okay. Did it work? Yeah. Circle. Got a circle. Perfect. That's all I wanted. I wanted a circle. I got a circle. And then I'm going to grab a paint marker, a Sharpie, just anything that's not going to go anywhere. All right. Permanent. We're going to use matte medium. I don't know if I want it this thick, but let's do it to it. Oh, that's thick. Oh, she thick. Oh, she thick. That's okay. That's the center of our flower. That is the center of our flower, and we need to make sure that's dry. Because if that's not dry, we're going to be all jacked up. And then I'm going to glue these down. I'm going to start, I'm going to use matte medium. You can use decoupage. You can use glue. I like matte medium or decoupage and I like matte. I don't like bright, glossy decoupage when I'm doing this. So I'm going to start with the ones that don't have need haircuts and we're just going to start gluing. That's all I'm going to do. For those of you who like to measure, count, map things out, we're not in that business tonight. We're doing a demo. We're releasing all of our stresses from the day. Um, we're having fun. Ooh, whoops, we're almost gluing things upside down. So you go over and under, over or under and over. All right. Now I am going to be mindful. I'm going to offset this. I'm going to offset this like that much. I just decided that while I was sitting here. If you came here for measurements, I'm not your girl. Oh, what is this? It's math. Okay. By the way, matte medium, let's talk about it. It's a sealer. It dries clear. And it's an adhesive. It's like a really 
helpful piece of art to have in your, all right, relatively the same size. And are you laughing at me? She's laughing at me. I'm covering up this beautiful background that I made. That's okay. We'll make more. Now, I was going to try and make this like somewhat exact, but it's not going to happen. So if you're looking for an exact measurement, the only thing I do have to do is I will have to give my petals haircuts. Make sure you get underneath there. You could use Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a brand name. Yeah, just a brand name. It's like calling a, it's like calling a cotton swab a Q-tip. Sure. I grant you permission there, Sharon. I grant you. Okay. I know you gotta you gotta like put slather this stuff on, all right? All right, all right. I kind of wish that was a little bit more white, but I could always put more white on there. All right. Now the only thing I mentioned is you might have to give this a haircut as you put it on. For example, uh huh. I don't want issues when I have to go take this painter's tape off and it's now glued to 10 flower petals. So just do the best you can. Don't measure Sharon Phipps feeling much better than I said. Yeah. I should say no one day. Like, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> I would never say that. Okay. I really hope this is going to turn out like what's in my brain. Oops, pencil. I know I don't use pencils, but this time I had to. Sorry, I muted myself. Sorry, I'm back. I muted myself. Back. Game on. You know, I could have just put this off. I could have done the easy route, but I went the hard route, and now I'm cutting a flower in the corner. Game on. Are we good? I'm back. Okay. All right. Oh, that's not a great cut, but it's not. Oh. Well, you know what she does? She gives it a haircut over here because I don't want that to be different. So I'm just going to give it a haircut right here. What did I say about measuring or being exact? Okay, there we go. Done. Back on. Thank you. I lost an earbud. I almost lost an earbud in the porta potty the other day at work when I was on a job site. That was not happy. Thank God. I didn't. You're not you're not gonna want to miss the big reveal. I do try to get this done by the way within a half an hour. I can't see where the tape is going. Like I glued I that's not one more haircut. I almost lost them in the RV the last time I was there. I, I, I am. Okay. Oh, go back. Go back. Where are you going? Don't go there. Don't go there. Go there. Well, we might be. I literally cannot tell where this tape ends. Eh. Oh, well, we're close. We're close. It's not a big deal if I'm. Oh.
I should have just decided to cut a thousand petals out and do this intricately, right? That was a good idea. How, how's it going, everybody? Oh, guess what? Guess whose paint wasn't dry? Tracy Ann's. Just shove it back in there. Uh-oh. You guys, we might be out of petals. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just paint a few more that I didn't go all the way to the edge. So, okay. Heat gun. I should be with uh oh. I should be within about two or three. It's nice that you can see the background. Yeah, I kind of was like kind of intentional. All right. And then oh back to the uh oh. Oh I got white just uh oh. Uh -oh. It's fun putting something wet on something wet. <laughs> okay. But as you can tell, I don't need to be exact. That's not my MO here. Here we go. I need a couple of more petals, and I have just enough white paint to get me there. So. And yes, I am mixing paint. I think I need two more. What do you think? Ha, heat gun, hand. Not a good mix. We're going to lose a finger. It's all funny. I cannot see. Okay, there's the tape. There's the tape. It's really hard to see the tape. And I just don't want to have to... Now, if I were working on a canvas, I'd just be working right off the side of that canvas. And yes, I can do this off of a canvas. So don't. Is anybody still watching this? <laughs> is, Dan, is there anybody still watching? Just curious. All right. I ran two petals shy. That was it. Not bad. Oh, and I just, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. I just realized I had white paint. Okay, get off of there. I didn't want to color that. I just was lazy and I didn't rinse off my brush. Don't make me pay for that, please. All right. I promise this is not gonna take 10 more years okay six maybe but not 10. i'm gonna be oh well that's kind of an interesting dilemma where did i end up here really i need i had to paint that whole thing for that little scrappy poo all right glue her up and I really hope I'm not going to be wrestling with these with the tape when I go to take this off. It'll be an interesting dilemma. But there we go. Everybody just take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> okay. And I have to take some of the paint off because I really painted these. I didn't water that down, but it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to throw the rest of this stuff away because I'm cleaning up as I go. And uh, what do you think? And I am just going to throw a little more decoupage or matte medium, as I like to call it. There we go. Oh, we have to have this dry because now we need to color on it. I promise this is going somewhere.
Why does it look like that's blurry? Oh, because when I use the heat gun, it's trying to. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, we have matte medium all over our scissors. Don't glue your scissors closed. Remember what I said about using a baby wipe to, um, this will help you in the future, especially with matte medium, because remember it's a, an adhesive. You don't want to glue this thing shut. If you're a single female like I am, uh, and you don't have a man to open a jar for you at every five turn, minute turn, then <laughs> try not to glue everything shut. Sorry, reason. Jill, reason. I don't want to have to call my neighbor over and ask him to open something for me. I saved the good stuff for him. All right. What is this? Oh, this does not go there. I'm looking for a paint pen. I love baby wipes too. I use them all the time and I don't have any more babies. In fact, look. I hope I have more because that would be a tragedy of great proportion. I'm going to, a paint pen, a Sharpie will work. I don't know if a Sharpie will work. Well, the only way I'm going to know if a Sharpie works is I'm not going to use a Sharpie. It will work, but I don't want to use, I want to use a paint pen. He's looking for one. What brand of paint pens do I like? Posca. I like those. I like Artistro. What's this one? Be careful though. Anything that is water-based could go running right off your page. Uh, so I am going to use, what is, I'm just looking for a nice fine tip. All right, here we go. Mm. Now the fun is going to start any minute now. Yeah, there we go. And I am going to draw around my petals. This is why I didn't care what those petals looked like. I am going to seal my artwork. I'll probably do a light spray of uh, a spray sealer first. Just if I do a brush on, I'll probably, I like to spray over the top. Because anything that was like water-based, I got to be real careful. You don't go running that right off the page. All right. This is kind of where I have to look and see what I'm doing, but is my head right in the middle of where I'm working? Probably so I can move. It's easier to move the book around than it is. Whoa. Could I possibly just stay along the border? Uh-oh, careful. Careful you don't go junking your hands up over your work and smearing everything. What do you think? She's pretty. Now, that is going to be some sort of mittel. Uh, I actually have a teal. I don't think I've ever used. Oh, yeah, maybe I have. Okay, I'm going to see if I can go around the inside of this. You could do it with paint. I just happen to have a paint marker here. I'm going to go around the inside and get myself a little middle. Pretty, pretty, oops. If you go, I don't like to measure stuff. That just drives me absolutely bonkers. I went a little bit too much into that black border. I'll pull it back. 
Nobody says you can't go black over the top of it. It's a paint marker for heaven's sake. So let's get that back. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a circle right here. Trying to decide. I really want some of that magenta drawn in, so I don't mind. Let's get a small brush. I think I might just color the whole inside magenta because I can and I have magenta left. What time is it? Oh. I have two minutes it's for a miraculous finish. It's okay. Um. Okay. You guys have any dates tonight? You just have to tell that gentleman or female to wait. You're busy right now. I'm going to over dry this. Yeah, let's name the painting. I'm going to over dry this just a little bit. Just wanted little welts in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to take, you can take any white paint. I like acrylic. That would be the easiest for me. And I'm gonna grab a handy dandy end of my paintbrush tool. Yes, you guys name my, the end of the paintbrush. It's just this, okay? And then I'm gonna go boop. And write the names down. And um, whew. sorry, I am literally trying to gently. You didn't know the back of your paintbrush is also a handy dandy dotting tool. I know a lot of you have like the fancy stuff, but I don't need that. Maybe I do because that was kind of messy, but I like it. And that's, oh, that's important. Oh, it picked up a Sharpie. Guess what? Works. It's working now. I am writing up a blog post about sealing, recommended sealers, um, what I use, because it's really hard. There's a difference between drying and curing. Drying is dry to the touch. Curing is thoroughly uh, dry, like very dry, cured. Like what kind of language is that? Okay, well, that's kind of a nifty middle, isn't it? I have like two more things I want to do to this. So if you'll just bear with me, I, oops. I, I, you know what, a liner brush will make, I, I make such a mess and I get so into this stuff that I don't want to stop because it would be like, but I know I always promise you a finished product. So if you have to go, I understand. Ooh, summer solstice. I love that. Okay. This is acrylic paint. I'm sorry, my left ear must be. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Hold on, I hear myself in the. I'll 
Okay, I have so much paint on my palette, I can't tell which one is the dry one or not. So we're just Whoa. I literally cannot stand perfectly traced lines. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I am just going out of the light. I was worried that this slightly would not come together. Other than me. <laughs> Other than me. Um, it does kind of look like Native American Indian art. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to mute this thing. All right. Oops. I will have all my materials list. I would even add more details to the petals, but I don't want to get that too busy. So I'm pretty at peace. I'm pretty at peace with that. All right. I just put away the pen and I was just using it. I Last thing I'm going to do is breathe. Prussian blue hue. It's a great color. Good color. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to take a very dry brush, like a chipboard brush or something. Uh, I'm looking for, yeah, this will do. Okay. Can I have a bigger one? What the heck? Okay, like I'm gonna dry this off. Look at this. Like just dry this off. I am gonna remove the uh, tape. Oh, I, I really want to seal this. And I want to remove the tape, but I really shouldn't seal it. I'm just going around the perimeter of it. I feel like I'm working up a sweat with this awesome blue. I'm gonna hope I got those petals off the edge too. Okay. There we go, done. And then don't worry, this just wipes up. And then I'm gonna throw that. What does this need? I think I'm done. Deep breath. Ooh, I'm sweating. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spray this.
but I'm going to run outside. If anybody has to go, you can see the removal of the tape tomorrow. I'll post a photo of this on my blog. But I'm going to go outside because I want this done and I want you to see it, but I need to use this in a ventilated area. I don't know how much you're going to be able to hear. I'm going to run outside and then I'm going to run back in and then I'm going to remove the tape. I'm going to use a heat gun. Got to be careful because I just sprayed this as well. And then I'll hold this up. I'm using a heat gun because this tape has been sitting here, the delicate paper. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Some of the petals are over the tape. <laughs> this was going to happen. We're going to have to perform some surgery. It's not going to be major. I got a razor blade, but let's see how much. All right. Scalpel. We got it, people. That, my friends, is how you relax. <laughs> All right, I got. Oh my God, does anybody need a cigarette after that? I don't even smoke and I need one. Okay, look at that. It's nice clean edges too. So somebody asked about how to get your painter's tape off if it's really sticky, heat it up. We're done. I'm done. I'm going to hold this up. All right. I'm going to turn all the recordings off because that was just a lot. I'm gonna, okay. See? <laughs> ah, Ava just said, thanks for cheering me up. I make house goals. <laughs> So now I've had two sips of wine and I'm all right. Any questions before I go 